Hello everyone. In this video we are going to run some tests with uh, supercapacitors. We are going to test uh, more exactly different electrolytes. We have four cells in front, we have different mixtures and uh, I'm going to explain it very simple. This cell will have a diprotectic solvent based on zinc chloride. This cell will have a diprotectic solvent based on uh, nickel chloride. This cell will have a mixture of those two diprotectic solvents, so zinc chloride and nickel chloride. And on this one we are going to see just for reference an electrolyte, an uh, aqueous electrolyte, a two molar solution zinc sulfate with some redox additive all right so what we are going to test the initial voltage after the cell immediately after the cell was built we are going to see voltage after the first charge first charge time capacity energy and i think i'm going to keep them just 10 minutes on the charge so we can have a pretty fair uh, result on all the cells. All right, I will start building the cells and um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm connecting the first cell and I'm going to bear with me. So the first voltage is 0 0.235 volts. I'm going to charge them all at 2 volts. 2.1, sorry, is already set. And seventy-eight amps the spike. Yeah, I'll be back after 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes passed. So I'm going to disconnect it from the charge from the power supply. Let's see what we have left. Very good. 2 volts 27. Not bad at all. And we are going to start the discharging uh, process. All right, I'll get back uh, when it will finish and we will uh, we'll see what happened. Okay, first discharge finished. Pretty disappointing, just 1 minute 36. And nothing on capacity, nothing on energy. So, having said that, I... I'm not that happy with uh, the diprotectic solvent uh, based on uh, zinc chloride. I'm going to prepare now the second cell, the one uh, based on nickel chloride, and uh, I'll get back. Okay, I'm connecting now the second cell, the one based on diprotectic solvent with nickel chloride. As an electrolyte, we have only six millivolts, but we'll start charging now and we'll see what will happen. Pretty much, we have the same current spike at the beginning of the charging. nice uh, charging curve so the basic of this uh, video is to see if we have different electrolytes diprotectic solvents especially with uh, different recipes how the cells how the supercapacitors will perform how they will affect the performance of the supercapacitor so this is why I have 
two super capacity, uh, two different uh, diprotectic solvents with one based on a metal, one based on another metal. Then we have a mixture of those two. Then we have a normal water-based electrolyte, the zinc sulfate with the addition of uh, the redox couple. I'm going to leave it to charge for 10 minutes and um, after that we'll, I'll get back uh, at the beginning of the discharge uh, process. See ya. Okay. Now it's been 10 minutes. It looks like it charged almost continuously with 23 milliamps. I'm going to disconnect now the power supply. And uh, we have 1.64 of a volt and start the discharging. All right, I will uh, let it discharge and uh, come back at the end. Okay, the second cell finished discharging. Very good results comparing to the first cell. 11 minutes 42 and 2 milliamp hour, 1 milliwatt hour. Not bad, not bad at all. Thinking of the first uh, uh, first cells results. Okay, I'll prepare now the third one, which will be a mixture of uh, diprotectic solvent on zinc chloride and on nickel chloride, and we'll see what will happen. We have we had here a very low vo initial voltage 1.6 and on the first cell we had a pretty good voltage 2 volts so maybe we'll have something in the middle i don't know we will see i'll be back in a second okay we have prepared the third cell the mixture of the first two diprotectic solvents i'm going to clear this curve and I'm going to connect now to see the voltage almost 0 0.7 of a volt good 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 voltage I'll get back uh, after it will uh, actually Yeah, now it's properly plugged. Let's start charging. Only 46 milliamps the first spike. Not very good, but we will see. I'll be back after 10 minutes. Okay, after 10 minutes we still have 10 milliamps to fully charge. I'm going to stop it now. And we have 1.8 of a volt and start the discharging curve. Quite a big drop, not very impressive, but I'll let it run till it will finish and uh, we'll see if it, it's good of, uh, to mix them or not. See you in a bit. Okay third cell finish discharging definitely better than the first cell but worse than uh, the second one we have three minutes thir 31 seconds and one milliamp hour zero zero milliwatt hour it definitely worked a little bit better i don't know if you can see it had some moments when it tried to increase the voltage back saying like oh I can do more than this I can do more than this but then uh, immediately it was dropping back I'll get ready the last cell the fourth one and um, I'll be back all right I'm going to connect now the fourth cell the one based on a aqueous electrolyte and we have 
0 0.15 of a volt. I'm going to start now charging. Pretty good uh, initial current draw, 58 milliamps. I'll leave it charging for 10 minutes and um, see you in a bit. Alright, charging of the last cell finished. Judging by the charging curve, looks like the results won't be that impressive. But we'll give it a go, just as a reference with uh, water-based electrolyte. I'll disconnect it now, and the voltage is 2.25. Massive drop, and it keeps dropping. As I said, not very impressive at all. Yeah, we will see where we will go with this one. A very short break for me, unfortunately. The last cell lasted for only one minute and a second. No capacity, no energy to be shown uh, there. Um, probably will need more, more development. This electrolyte, but in the same time, I'm more curious to develop different diputectic solvents based on other metals, like copper, like other metals, and. Um, I'm going to run more tests. I will keep as a reference, obviously, the nickel-based uh, uh, diputectic solvent. All the cells today have been made from the same um, carbon paper that I produced. Um, have the same dimensions and uh, roughly the same weight. I'm preparing new batches of the two diputectic solvents. They look very well. I'm trying to keep some cell guard soaked into electrolyte. I've been reading somewhere that this is a, a good way to wet, pre-wet the cell guard, cell guard to allow a better conductivity, ionic uh, conductivity. And um, I'll see you at the next video when, uh, when we'll do more tests. If you have any suggestions, any requests from me, please post them in the, in the comments below and uh, I will try to make a video based on uh, your requests. If you know from where to buy some um, choline chloride please let me know i'm trying to buy this since ages ago i can't find a a decent source without uh, selling my uh, my entire life for that and um, it will be very very helpful for my uh, my work thank you again have a lovely evening tara